Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Eugene, welcome to Random World. Today we're looking at a barbecue, barbecue grill. There's 46 pieces in this set. No, you don't get the little um, spatula thing, or you get the food. This is from Block Tech, from Gizmo Blocks. This is ages eight up. We did this build already. I do have the full collection of these um, appliances to collect, and um, you will find this on a playlist called um, random building blocks is where I put all these speed builds and stuff. Um, Block Tech doesn't get their own channel or playlist at least. Um, here it is. This is the particular build. Um, this is supposed to be a barbecue. It doesn't come all the way down. It doesn't close as you can see, um, but it's supposed to be the grill here. It is pretty tall for Legos, which is a little disappointing because it's supposed to, you know, if you're pulling it out and it's not as wide. What they should have done is made the lid a little bit wider um, than uh, the side, as you can see. Um, if you were trying to make it uh, playability-wise, it's just not big enough. It's not wide enough. And I, I don't like that. I like that if you're going to go for it, make sure that it can shut and be used. Because then that would be really cool. And it would be a really nice little, little idea. You know, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. Um, it was neat to build. Um, if you have a child, small child that you want to build this with, um, I would say you can go down to ages six um, and up. Um, I know that they put eight, but it normally is for instructions. Lego, for the way this is, Legos would have had a six-year-old build this. It's not hard at all. You can see on the back here, um, it does have um, the serial number and stuff, the writing. I hate that. I don't like it when companies do that. Um, always off-brands, you always find that somewhere. Sometimes you can hide it, sometimes you can't. Uh, yeah... So you can move it around a little bit. It is a kind of a cool idea uh, if it shut more properly. If it was bigger, it would be better for like, um, like we'll say action figures, Barbies, those kind of things. But it's too small for them. Um, or it maybe it's, maybe it's like a little George Foreman. You could use um, that little like little grill for them. Sure. Like if you're doing like one of those on the table, you have your little grill, grill master, you could use it for that. Like I think some of these you could use for, um, you know, like, you know, your Barbies or anything like that. Like uh, your child can easily play with it. Uh, but this one is just, yeah, I would have to say it's going to be, um, they could use it for one of those, um, action figures or something, put it on, ta like put it on a table or put it in their little dollhouse or something. It is definitely looks like a little grill um but for putting in the in the lego universe no it's not it's not gonna work it's just for building wise um i bought it cheap it was only um i think a dollar fifty for it which is really decent um i i bought it at the five dollar um five and below is what it's called. Um, you can buy it online. I don't know if they still sell these particular ones, but Block Tech is a brand that the five and below um, definitely is on that you could um, buy some of their products on. Um, I find them that they're fine. They're a decent product. Um, not as good as Lego, but, um, you know, like Lego would have designed it so it would have shut perfectly, um, which, but you're paying a more premium price. Um, I definitely like Lego better, but... Um, for us that are, especially in this economy, it's horrible. Um, like inflation's through the roof. Um, so it's kind of hard to say what toys you're going to buy. Um, for this one, if you're going to just buy it for building purposes, go for it. If you're going it for displaying inside of some type of Lego environment, um, building block environment, I would pass. But for a dollar fifty, it's, you know, if you want the parts, you have that too. Uh, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.